Hey everyone, it's the Chaplain here. Coming to you with a little bit of sad information. So as many of you may have possibly heard, last week my grandfather passed away. Now this is significant for many, many reasons. One of which being that uh, my dad left when I was three. And so my mom and my sisters and I moved in with my grandparents and they pretty much raised us until we met, uh, mom met my stepdad and we moved out of my grandparents' house and kind of moved on with our lives. But even at that point in time, my grandmother got sick and so mom started taking care of her, right? The family pitched in, we took care of her. But when nanny passed, Poppy moved out and lived with us for a while. Um, he was a big part of my life. Big, big, big part of my life growing up. And um, even in my adulthood, my grandfather was one of the best men that I ever knew. He served his country as a Marine in Vietnam for four years, and then he joined the Air Force, and he retired from the Air Force in 1985. So he had done over 20 years of military service. He retired as a tech sergeant. Um, he was a, a clerk in Vietnam, and he had this funny story he used to tell me all the time. He was a clerk, right, so a typist, okay, and he was stationed in Da Nang, and at the time, it was really, really kind of a safe spot, right? And so, uh, but they had heard reports. They had heard a lot of reports that Charlie was moving in. The North Vietnamese were coming in. And so everyone's on high alert. And so one night, all of the alarms get tripped on one edge of the camp, um, of the base rather. And every single Marine and every single person that was there that could bear arms, grabbed a gun, their gun, someone else's gun, whatever, and they ran to that side of the of the base and they just unloaded. They were, he describes it so well. They unloaded so many rounds of ammunition. And so then the next morning, they went out to scout and see what had happened, to see the aftermath of the battle, if you will. And they didn't find any dead Viet Cong soldiers. They didn't find any South Vietnamese that maybe strayed too close to the base. They didn't find any any people at all. In fact, all they found were what they believed to be the remains of a water buffalo. They had eviscerated a water buffalo with thousands and thousands of rounds of ammunition. So Poppy liked to joke that was the only time he really saw combat in Vietnam, and thank God, because, you know, that was that was a pretty horrific thing. But uh, they ended up buying the farmer a couple new water buffalo and made amends, whatever. So that's what he did in, uh, in the Marine Corps. And then when he was in the Air Force, he was stationed all over the place, right? He traveled the world, and uh, I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm a pastor, right? Uh, my name is The Chaplain, and my faith is very important to me. And I got that from my grandfather. He didn't care where he was stationed. He made sure that he found a house of God, um, whether it was a, a Baptist church or a Presbyterian church or a Lutheran church. He told me he went to Jewish temple one time because at least they believe the Old Testament. And so his faith was very important to him. And it took a lot. It definitely took a lot for my grandfather to stay strong in that. He had a lot of adversity, but he, he came through it all. Um, he is preceded in death by two wives. He, he was married to my grandmother for 45 years until she passed. And then he married Miss Sharon, uh, probably eight, nine years later, maybe not even that long, probably six or seven years later, he married Sharon and she passed just two years ago. He's buried three of his four kids. The man has, has lived a life. I've got so many stories that I could tell, and honestly, time would fail me to tell them. But suffice it to say that if it wasn't for my grandfather, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be in the faith like I am. I wouldn't be in the family situation that I am. He taught me the meaning of hard work. He taught me the meaning of discipline. He taught me the meaning of caring for others more than you care for yourself. And um, he's going to be greatly missed. He used to call me Superman, and uh, 
in my Superman. And now he's gone. Uh, but because of my faith, I know where he's at. And I believe that I'll get to see him again. And so, I mean, it's a, it's just bittersweet, right? It's bitter because he's gone here with us now, but I've got so many fond memories and so many family and friends that have the same, you know, and they pitch in and they share their stories and we just remember them and it's great. Um, but it's also, you know, sweet that because of our faith, if what we believe is true, and I believe it is obviously, or I wouldn't believe in it, then I'm gonna see him again someday. So anyway, I know it's not necessarily Access and Allies related, but I wanted to share with you the community, um, send some thoughts and prayers my family's way. This is really tough on, on myself. You know, my, my grandpa pretty much raised me, like I said. Um, my sister, my oldest sister, Cindy, same thing he pretty much raised her and then for my uncle tom that that is his dad you know i say he was like a dad to me but but that actually is uncle tom's dad it's just a tough time a tough transition um i keep thinking and, and i was thinking the other day man i was driving and i was having a moment right i'm crying and bawling my eyes out i'm like who am i going to turn to to ask questions who am i going to turn to for advice who am i going to turn to when i need validation of a choice that i've made and you know, I, I used to call him for all those things and talk to him for all those things and, and now he's gone, right? So I can't call him and do that. But but then I started thinking, I was like, man, but but he raised me to make those right decisions, right? He raised me to analyze the situation and to overcome and improvise and adapt, right? That's the Marine Corps thing, improvise, adapt and overcome, right? He taught me how to be disciplined. He taught me how to be strong. He taught me how to do what I'm supposed to do and when I'm supposed to do it. So. I still want his advice and I still want him to just call me back, but it's not gonna happen. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off. I just, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, there's a lot of, of uh, people in the community that know me, know my story, know my family and, and care about us. And so uh, for those of you that don't, now you know a little bit more about me, Rob, the chaplain. And uh, I'm just glad that I'm able to be real with you guys. Definitely, definitely keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's Sunday night right now as I'm recording this and his service is this Thursday. Um, it's gonna be really small. Um, and he's gonna be buried at a military cemetery in the middle of Missouri that doesn't do graveside services. So that's gonna not be cool for me. I'm not gonna relish that I would like to be there, but Anyway, keep sending your thoughts and prayers. There's just a little bit of insight into my life. I'll be praying for you guys. I'm the chaplain. Have a good night.